<coughs> Excuse me. And we are still in uh, Syria, playing on crushing. Like I said, as soon as we activate this checkpoint, we're going to run over there to where you see Drunk is at. And uh, set up shop in that little L-shaped room that's over there. Because that's just a really good area to sit around and waste all these enemies until the boss comes. When the boss comes over, we're going to come back to this section right here and you'll see why first we're all gonna get a hernia trying to lift this eight inch thick steel door um it's heavy drops down right here you see that's why i like to bring this rpg over here because that makes quick work of him now the best tactic is to just run straight to our section over there but for some reason i'm gonna act like i'm gonna punch these guys and uh get shot and get faded pretty bad but anyway you get up in this section right here and I'm going to grab the uh, hammer that I left over here. That's exactly why I left it there. I still got a few rounds in this mag, which I could have stretched a little bit further if I didn't miss about four shots right here. Boom, there we go. And basically, this L-shaped room, you see I'm, I'm watching out this side. Um... Obviously, somebody needs to be watching out <clears throat> the other side. And as long as you stay in there and don't run out like I'm doing right now, everything will be fine. Once again, uh, my teammates for this video, Drunk and Smooth, are playing the game perfectly. And I'm the one being hard-headed and running around. But basically, if you run out of the room and you get a red circle... <clears throat> then there's just a high chance, you know, one of your teammates is going to go down on their way to come revive you, and you'll get a restart and feel like an ass. So that's the way that works. That was a lucky headcracker. Um, basically, like I said, we just hang out, keep popping shots at people. I like to use my pistol for all the regular people and save these hammer rounds for for the heavies that show up the people with riot shields of which there are a plenty but for the most part this is a really easy section right here I'm gonna get one two three four five medals off of that you see I got a cluster bomb that I could activate but for some reason I didn't notice it or else I would have activated it and continued to collect medals for the next one that's one reason I like to come into these maps with cluster bomb i think this game i had cluster bomb i think drunk had a uh, army of three and smooth had a uh, team medic because <clears throat> he had done another legacy so we didn't all have the really good kickbacks but um for the most part you know none of it really matters we used to do this map with protectorate for the uh very very last section where you're on top of the tower and the helicopters are shooting at you and stuff but uh if you stick with us you'll see that we don't really need that we we've, we've got better tactics for that by now i'm gonna run out here and punch this guy because that's the last guy when you see that it's down to just one guy left you can run around and get ammo if you want but that's not really necessary because as soon as you kill the last guy that's gonna spawn this boss we're gonna head over here and I'm going to get lucky and actually uh, kill him with one cluster bomb right here. Um, but if that would not have happened, we can easily take him down from this spot, though, just using regular guns. We, we just hit him with some ARs. You'll see how that works really well if you watch uh, the video that we did for farming this map for Skelzor to get the treasures for the wrath set even though we did that on hard it's just a really easy tactic to just stand right behind the boss you got plenty of cover no I can't climb up there right now cuz I'm getting shot to death thank you so we head on up here and activate this checkpoint um, I think I'm gonna speed the video up here just for a second cut out the two minutes of us running around because you don't want to see all that and group up inside the red ring 
We'll look for a way to tower through here. Efforts. Oh crap. Boom. Okay. That looked horrible. Anyway, um, this next section is three heavy enemies and there's three of us. And there's actually a way to easily pull all three of them down to their death uh, with stealth kills simultaneously. I actually remember this map from um, the beta. This is like what they gave us in the Uncharted 3 beta, like way, way back. But anyway, one person climbs up through the well right here. You see these two heavies walking to the right of my screen. If the other two uh, teammates get in position in time, they can pull them down and I can pull this guy down, you know, all at the same time which we didn't manage to get there in time but uh that's not really an issue because it's just these three guys you know what i'm saying as soon as you kill the third one you activate the checkpoint and uh move on to the next section but the section immediately after this is i, I guess i call what we just did the first courtyard and this is like the second bigger courtyard with the idle placements and everything and uh if you stick with us, we'll show you the easiest way to get through that without losing any lives. Um, it's a really easy way to control all the spawn points, knowing where everybody spawns. I think we had a hiccup right here. Drunk said that uh, he hit the wrong button. I pulled him off of Dark Siders 2 to help me with his video, and I appreciate that. And anyway, we get a checkpoint before he respawns, so we didn't lose any team lives. So that's always a positive. But... um. Yeah, stick with us. Thanks for watching.